What's going on guys? Today I wanted to do a video to show how to do red lines way more efficiently. This is a feature that came out in 2023 and for a while it did take me a, a minute to wrap my head around why it was called what it's called. But nonetheless, what this feature does, it's a, again a new feature, is you can take your red lines. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up blue beam here. I went ahead and just uh, kind of drew something in here in blue beam. So let's say this is just some design red lines from let's say an engineer to, to a designer on how he kind of wants the site to be graded. So this is in a PDF format. Now this will work whether it's a PDF, a JPEG, um, you could take handwritten red lines. Um, but what it does is it's gonna go ahead and use AI to place that PDF into this drawing uh, pretty much effortlessly. So the, the command is actually called trace. Um, and we can go ahead and come up here to collaborate. And here we have a traces palette. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and import a markup into this trace. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring this one in. Again, here you could see the different formats you can bring in. So I'm gonna go ahead and say to open this and we see that it kind of brings up what looks like the same interface as the drawing compare. So here it's used AI and it has placed that PDF here in this drawing. And I can go ahead and move, align, rotate, scale. You can see all these options I can do below or I can just accept and hit enter, which I will do. So as if that wasn't cool enough, we can also come up here and we can edit the trace. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the edit trace. And now what I can do is any of these blue boxes, let's say I wanna bring this comment into the actual drawing I'm in. I can go ahead and left click this and I can insert it either as an M leader, as M text, or I could copy it to the clipboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert it as an M leader and we will go ahead and set the insertion point of the text. And let's go ahead and put it there and boom. Now we can go ahead and just hit the check mark. And here we have the comment from that red line. Now, if I ever wanna bring that back up, I can just go ahead and click this guy and boom, there it is again. Just wanted to show you guys a really quick way. Um, this is a feature I don't think a lot of people out there are using, but it's definitely a feature that you're gonna to want to start using. Again, and this can be used with handwritten red lines, red lines from PDFs, especially with a lot of comments going to PDF. This will be a feature that is going to be really great for as built where we're changing uh, dimensions of stuff or modifying stuff. And instead of looking down at your paper or be given red lines, you can actually scan them in, bring them right into your drawing. And this will work in model space and paper space. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just wanted to make this a quick one. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.